Hey everybody, how y'all doing? We're doing a video on my uh, latest edition, my ham shack. And up there is that uh, insulator. That's part of my Buckmaster off center fed, um, I think it's a seven band Buckmaster antenna. I'll put a link of it below. But I got it connected to my solar panel, but it's not correct, connected directly to it. It's from a piece of chain and a pulley. So my dog just barking, caught my attention. But let's see here what we got. But yeah, oh, it works great. I, uh, my uh, buddy, uh, I think it's Hill, Hillbilly Homestead on YouTube. Oh man, he's got a, we got the same exact system. Same antenna, same everything. Um, I'll, I'll put a link below on his uh, YouTube site. I'm getting to make some videos, plus bluegrass farmer, and plus rats. Uh, that's Richmond Amateur Telecommunications Society. Man, they've been they've been helping me out big time. And another bu buddy of mine, Doc, we call him Doc. Uh, he's a, all hammers. Oh, it's great. That's a great hobby to get into. I mean, bl believe me. Plus the stuff now going nowadays. I got my power back up. I got ways to communicate. That, that's, that's a ticket, y'all. That's a ticket. All right, um, let me get you off my mug, and we'll see what's going on. There's Ruby. There she is. But, well, y'all know my solar system. Got 44,220 watts of solar. I saw it go. That's on the roof and the wind turbines. Oh, it's not clean. If you want to count the wind turbines, that's 6,220. But they're not, they're not spinning right now, so we can't count that. But anyhow, back to business. Um, me some paracord. Um, for all, on in night eyes, little figure eight cleats, carabiners, for everything I got. And I'm using Stanley pulleys, 250 pound capacity. And that's right, it's not touching my solar panel, so it's away. And my fancy knots, full back of knots, bowlings and clove hitches and half hitches and all that good stuff. And it's doubled also. But anyway, we'll get to the cream of the crop. But yeah, she's going down there all the way to that part. I mean, she's she's up there. She's banging. I got to tighten up every soft because the paracord wants to stretch. Let me see. Yeah. There's my, well, here's the main side. Here's my two meter on top. And there's my Buckmaster um, Bylon. And there's my Belden uh, RG8. That's some heavy duty stuff, let me tell you. And there's my other, that's a DX engineering uh, pole, or MFJ pole, telescopic. That's down there holding up off, uh, away from the building. Kind of a, like an inverted V. Uh, let's go take y'all up there. So what we got. Put, put my CNI glasses on. But yeah, I know a lot of people don't like to hear me talk and all that good junk, but I will, I'm a talker. I guess that's why I got my ham radio, because I love to talk. But here she is. Right here, here, and the sun's going down. But yeah, it's, it's a ham radio has got to be something you want to do. Um, no one can make you, but it's a fun hobby and it's a way to save people's lives. Um, in case of emergency when cell phones are down or you can't get a signal. I mean, that's what it's all about. Helping people out and communicating, communication. And I got power, backup power, as you saw back there with my solar. And, but there's where my solar's going to, into the room from here. To my ham shack slash man cave. Um, it's got in my tool room. There's my earth ground. Uh, I'll get back, to, I'll show you all that. And then we'll get to the antenna before it gets dark. 
Uh, as y'all know, I, when y'all saw it, I cut all my pine trees down. It was three of them, plus the laying on cypress. And it's a pile of wood. <laughs> so I can use all that. Uh, plus I get a little more solar. <laughs> right much more solar. But here's my ground. Right here. And, uh, hey, let's keep all the, everything equal. All my, um, electronics, my DC electronics, that is, my, my radios. And I got it, this is Super 33. Uh, it's got Super 33, or 3M Super 33 tape. I used conduit, went through the building. And then I got duct seal underneath of that, behind that. And there's my two meter and my HF is in the blue. Yep, that's it, blue. Uh, that's, that's my color code. And then I've got my antennas, my coax is inside where I can write them down. Plus I'm cooking a barbecue right now. Whoa, didn't mean to change the subject, but I'm cooking a barbecue and it smells good. There's my HF antenna going up. I need to see my two meter antenna going up. But people say, people are like, well, why you got both? Uh, well, you need both to, uh, you know, so, you know, in case the bands go down. I mean, that's, that's it, it, well, I'll say it's not rock science, but, but it, it is, it's a science. I mean, it's all about propagation and the bands, the solar and the, I learned a lot. I'm still learning a lot. Um, but yeah, y'all, I mean, there's my antenna. There's my outrigger from or my Buckmaster. Off center, off center fed, OCF. And it goes straight down to here. Well, we all know I got a pulley up there. Let me see if I can zoom in. There's a pulley up there. It's holding that puppy up there. There we go. And then it comes down. Um, to right here. To the night eyes. Uh, figure nine carabiner. Yeah, that does the job, y'all. Plus, I got some half hitches in there. And extra rope. You're going to need extra. Make sure you give yourself extra when you're making a pulley. She's up there at 33 feet up in the air. And she's got kind of a bow in it. But, hey. She's strong. She's strong. All right. Let's go check out the other end. All right. And we're going. Coming down the line. And just, this is an 18 foot. Uh, telescoping pole, MFJ, and she's up there, and I got the night eyes here. This is was level, but I got a piece of um, EMT trying to do it in the ground on um, one inch, and she's steady, and I got it white, double wired stainless steel. But this is on insulated because it's hooked to the it's hooked to the pole. In the, in the pulley system up there. And I'll show you that. And it works. All right. Uh, just give you a little bit little, little something, something there. Hey, puppy. Hi, Ruby. Hi. Ah. So, yeah, y'all, it's, it's, man, I'm telling you one thing, it's fun. It is fun. Hey, if you want, you want, know a new hobby, get into this. Well, I ain't gonna say it's cheap, but you can start cheap. You can buy secondhand equipment and this and that. And, you know, it is what you make it. Yeah, it's a little bow in there, but that's all right. It's, it's everything still works fine. I've got, um, okay, let's go in here where it's warm. Come on, girl. Come on, bro. Ah, uh, going inside the shop where it's warm. Got the wood stove going. But yeah, here's my setup. I double braced everything. 
I just I just showed y'all lifting up my antenna before and there's a little bow right there, that's where the two come together. But it's okay. You know. That's okay. She's strong. But anyway, but the, the dipole itself don't weigh but it weighs it's <laughs> now the the building RG eight weighs it's probably weighs more than anything. But good coax going to your antenna is a, is a, is a must. Um, but yeah, she's working out real good. Uh, I could probably pull that up a little more. Looks like it's stretch. But she's up there 30, 30 some feet. But we won't do that today. All right. Let's go inside here. Oh, she's warm as a bug, snug as a bug and rugged. This is my classroom in here where we had, uh, uh, we had my, I had my technician test. And I was too from passing on my general. Wow. Oh, on the, fr on the first, go I mean, on my technician course. I was going here. I started light today and all that good stuff. Um, got some lights on. Always, I save, hey, when you buy equipment, make sure you save all your boxes because when you got to resell it, people want boxes. That's what all the other hammers been telling me, too. People want boxes. I'll take it for you. Um, see here. My call sign is. That's my buddy Doyle's right here. That's, uh, that's, uh, Hillbilly Homestead. Um, Kilo Echo 8. Whiskey, Kilo, Sierra. That's him. That's Doyle. So that's Hillbilly. That's Doyle. But. All right. Mine is. Oop. Okay. Um, you. Four. See, I got a vanity call sign. Um, there it is, right there. Um, KU KU four SMC Kilo Uniform Sierra Mike Charlie. So that's my call sign, and this is me. KU four SMC. All right. Well, I want to turn my new light off to some maximum for lows. Wow, that's bright. <laughs> All right, here's my setup, y'all. Here's my setup. Um, I got the Icon Sand three hundred mask. It gives off a lot of light. Ooh, I need some light lighted up this area. I can't stand working in the dark. But my antennas and my ground uh, comes right through, the, through there. And my antennas come through the, my coax come, for my antennas come there. And everything comes through the little, it's a little hole, a computer hole, back, that big around back through there. Let's crank this puppy up. Oh, I'm gonna turn on my. Uh, turn on my Astron. We're at 13.8 volts. Good to go. That warm up. And we'll go low. Let me get down off of here. This thing is awesome. It's been out a while, this radio, particular model. But I like it the most. Uh, got my general. I'm now general, and I'm studying from extra amateur. I said, what the heck? While I'm already there, I'm going to keep going. All right. And I got the volume turned down. Let's see here. Turn my squelch up. Oh. Um. 
Um, that is on. 14, 14. I'm still my band, y'all. That's how new I am. I'm really new. It's 20 meters. That's 20 meters. See right there, and this is 14 megahertz. Your frequency is 20 meters. So I'm, I'm within the bands in general. But yeah, you can make this thing do all kind of fun stuff. But that's all. Filter. You press this. Touch screen. Yeah, it's pretty. It's awesome. It's awesome. And I got my com SP38 speaker up there. Yes. Let me just call this guy. Kilo Uniform 4 Sierra Mike Charlie. Kilo Uniform 4 Sierra Mike Charlie. I got stomped on. Oh well, that happens a lot. Ain't no telling where he's at. But yeah, y'all, that is a uh, nice setup. I love the waterfall display. That's your signals and all that stuff coming across the horizon. So anyway, I'm gonna power this off. Alright. And this is uh turn your dot the little one. It's you can also see your power. I'm one hundred percent power. Or you can or you can click that out. Or you can use it to uh, dial in really good. And this is your speed dial. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get off of there. And I'm going to cut a two meter rig on. Let's see if we can see the. This is my Icom 2300H. Wrong mic. <laughs> I got my mics right here. Let's see if we can hear the. I'll tune up to the repeater. Let me call, let me call, make a, let me make a call on here. Kilo, you, uniform, four, Sierra, Mike, Charlie, listening. Oh, well. Turn that off. I can change my color screen any color I want to and all that good junk. Still learning how to use everything. everything off. But man, I like this new light. Look at the difference. <laughs> Watch this. Wow. There, anyway, let me cover this puppy up. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm a new ham. Um, 
January 13th is when I uh, started. And uh, anyway, it's been good to go. Uh, all right, let me get ready. All right, well, I just want to get over here where I can talk to y'all. But anyway, y'all, uh, it has been great doing a video. I know it's kind of long winded, but I just want to make a shout out to everybody. Um, Rats, um, Bill, and our president Jeff, and our vice president Judy. You know who you are. And all the other good, good fellows, you know, him. And a big shout out to Last Frontier, uh, Last Frontier Radio Club. I'll leave a link below there. I got my general exam from them online. So people that have a hard time getting out or can't travel, uh, like myself, uh, I do the best I can on good days and get out where I can. Because, you know, PTSD. Uh, but I, I, I get out there and I, I try, to, try to go at it. Um, but online is saves gas. Save time and a bunch of good group of people. Last Frontier Radio Club. And they're also Aurora Radio Club up in Alaska. They're about four hours difference from here in Virginia. But they are good to go. They are super, super cool. But uh, uh, they're great. I'll put a link below um, to uh, Aurora and Last Frontier. Um, well, I went online and I had to scan the room and all kinds of stuff. Set my phone on Zoom. And had it beside of me right here and next to my computer. And we had a, I mean, it was detailed. I mean, it was awesome. And they'll work with you. And they're a great group of people. But I'll put a link below that. But ham testing online is an awesome way to do it. Or get with your local group if it's not too far away from you or whatever and do what you got to do. Um, but I got my general license. Um, I got that on February 3rd, and now I'm after my extra amateur, and don't take it lightly. Any any of them, technician, general, or anything, you'll learn a lot from it. I use ham test online. I tried ham radio prep. I'm doing ham test online. They're all good. It's like what you feel comfortable with. If you want to watch videos and stuff like that, I'm going to say ham radio prep is the way to go. Uh, if you just want, like, military, like myself, Marine Corps, yeah, you know, of course, KBSMC. Um, uh, but I learned better by getting it drilled to me. So ham test online, I read a section at a time, and they give me a test, and and they keep on the ones you miss, they keep on redrilling to you to get them right. So I like that. And it's memorization, and that's the way I, that's why I take it. Plus, I learn as I'm lear learning it. It's so much stuff to learn. Oh my gosh, folks. But don't get discouraged. It's something you got to work for and be honored. I mean, you, every time you meet another ham, you're in the Hamley. I'm in the Hamley now. I'm not fam well, family, but it's called Ham Hamley. But yeah, it's it's freaking awesome. Uh, I got my Vanti call sign. Like I say, it's Kilo Uniform um, for Sierra Mike Charlie. Uh, that's KU4. SMC, and you'll see me on QRZ, or FCC, all that good stuff, but all right, y'all, well, thank y'all for watching, let me know what you think, and man, it's been a pleasure, y'all, and y'all, God bless, be safe, and y'all, always stay faithful, stay faithful, and say your prayers. And just be thankful every day. You wake up alive, breathing. If you feel some pain, hey, that's a good thing. You're alive. Woohoo! So, yeah, but definitely ham is definitely the stuff. And I am still learning. I'm still learning how to use these radios. Oh my gosh. I bought little nifty books, handbooks to learn how to use the same 300 and the, the little 2300 and the um, Yezu FT70. That's right here. That's all. It got fusion in it. All that good stuff. But that's a nice little rating. I got the diamond antenna on it. Good to go. All right, y'all. Well, let me put this thing up. But anyway, if y'all...
just make sure you got backup power, um, food, water, way to communicate. Um, you, if you want to communicate and you're depending on the cell phone, don't do it. Get your ham radio or some type of communication. Saves lives. Ham radio saves lives. All right, y'all. That's enough. But hey, thank y'all for watching. And y'all check out, I'll send you, I'll put links below in my description of The Last Frontier. Uh, it's VEC testing. Great, great bunch of guys. I'm telling you what, you'll have a blast. Super nice. Military, there's one guy on there named Chuck. And in the head VEC, he's super nice. Uh, his I think his last name's Hess. But he is super cool. Super freaking cool to deal with. And my, my, own, my other club, Rats, they're freaking awesome. But yeah, y'all, um, hey, join as many clubs as you want. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. God bless and simplify. Hoorah. Y'all be good now. All right, now, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.